we've had a chance to engage with commuters who are the people who are going to be having to pay these high fares in January to just highlight quite how high they're going to be. We're looking at 30% fare increases over the next three years. And this isn't something that had to happen. The government have chosen to increase fares by 3% above inflation this year and for the next two years as well. And with the flex that train operating companies have, commuters on routes that are particularly busy, and that's a lot in the southeast here, could end up paying 13% extra a year. This is because the government have chosen to cut the Department for Transport's budget too far and too fast, and as a result, the Department for Transport and Philip Hammond and the government have decided that they're going to clobber commuters. But if we want to get out of the economic doldrums that we're in, we need people to be able to get to work, to be able to earn a living, and then spend some of the money that they earn in the economy. If people have to spend so much more getting to work, um, how are they then going to be able to help boost the economy by spending any of their earnings? They're not.